In this tutorial, we will create a little track in Logic Pro on the iPad. We will use the drummer, create some notes for a Fender Rhodes, a synthesizer and a bass. I will record my voice on an audio track and I will give you a first idea how to work with the audio effects. My name is Thomas Foster, good to have you here, let's go! Alright, to create a new track we click the plus icon and we go to tracks. Alright, the first thing we want to do, we want to create some drums. For this we load the drummer. So this is a kind of virtual drummer machine and you, we already have our first beat here, so let's listen. Sounds nice, but it's uh, for me, for my style, it's much too much EDM style. So let's click here where it says Big Room EDM to change the genre. You have here acoustic genres, electronic or percussion genres. So what about some, what about some trap music? Okay, this also changed the tempo a little bit. Let's activate the loop. Uh, you also can change the loop here, but four bars is fine for now. Now you can change the sound of the beat. You can say, make it more simple or more complex. Make it more soft. I prefer it like this. Let's add a conga. I don't like the sound, what's about some claves? I like it like this, that's fine for me. So we have a basic beat, that's cool. Now let's create a Fender Rhodes sound. So we close the editor to see a little bit more of the rest. And now we click the plus icon. We say we want to create a MIDI track. And now let's listen to some road sound I like this one so we click on it it's already loaded and now we close here the project the instrument patches and now we want to create an empty clip we also could record something um, by using a MIDI keyboard that is connected to the iPad or here on this pad, simply by clicking here, record. So I have extremely problems with the latency, so every time I click it's much too late. So this is not fun. So why don't we double click this to delete it again. We click again to create a short click, oh, sorry, like this, to create an empty MIDI region. A pattern region would be cool if we would create some drums. A drummer region would be cool if we would make another track like this. But now we want a MIDI region and I would like to have it over four bars. So let's one cl click it one time and extend it to four bars. And we double click it and say edit showing editor. So this is the piano roll. Um, I think this is a little bit too high. Let's scroll down. This is a nice note. Let's go to the pencil to add a note. This is exactly one bar. I like this. I would like to have another note uh, on the E. And this was too high. So to move this note, we go to this trim icon here and move it to the E. So you have to get used to edit this with this control panels here. It's not so easy in the beginning, but the more you do it, the easier it will be for you. Um, you can delete a note by clicking it again if you use the pencil tool. I like this note. and hear this note, but again it's too late here. So this is our first chord, let's listen. That sounds nice. Um, on the next chord, in the next bar, we go down to F 
and let's add make a major chord. That sounds good. Let's listen to this. And now we want to go to a D minor. So let's click here and here and here and here. And here we go to E major. So let's listen to everything. I like that. Let's close the editor. Now I want a synthesizer sound to double this um, Fender Rhodes. I click on the plus icon to add a new sound. I say it's a MIDI sound. And now we use the filters to say the system what we want. In this case, I would like to have a synthesizer. So I click on synth here. If you need more filters, you can click this icon here, this button here, and then you have a lot of filters to find exactly what you want. But in this case, the only thing I know is I want a synthesizer. And now let's click on the notes to listen to the sounds. That's not so bad. Maybe that one. That's not so bad. Let's click on it to load it. Now I want to copy our, this pattern here. So let's double click it and now we can say copy. And now we double click here. Sorry, we click one time, it's not a double click. And now we say paste at playhead. The playhead is in the beginning, so that's cool. And now we can listen. The only thing we're missing now for me is a bass. So why don't we say plus and we go to MIDI and now we filter for basses. Oh, it's already filtered for basses. Now we are have here the basses. Let's listen a little bit. I like this one. So let's click it. Let's create an empty MIDI region. Let's make it exactly four bars. We double click it. Say we want to edit it in the editor. We start, we click on the pencil and we start with the A here. We go down to the F, we go up to the D and up to the E and we listen. Okay, let's add a new track. Now I want to record my voice, so I go to audio. I have not connected a microphone to my iPad, but the iPad has an own microphone. So let's use the internal microphone. One, two, one, two. And now we can record my voice. Uh, no idea what I'm doing. I like Logic Pro on the iPad. Amazing. That's so fantastic. <laughs> Listen, I like Logic Pro on the iPad. Everything is a little bit laid back. So let's zoom in like this to see more. We close this here. Let's make it a little bit shorter in the beginning. I like Logic Pro. So here, let's zoom in again. I have to listen. I like Logic Pro. Ah, yeah. The Pro has to be exactly on this beat here. What sounds good? Let's listen again. I like Logic Pro. Everything is a little bit laid back. So why don't we move this simply a little bit to the left side? 
I like logic proof. This was too, too much. So we have to zoom in a little bit more. And now we move it again a little bit to the right side. I like logic proof. Timing is the issue. Um, we can control the timing a little bit, bit better if we use the split tool. And now we can split it here, like this, and here, like that. Okay, now let's go back to the trim tool. Let's click here, uh-huh. Maybe we we'll try it a little bit like this. I like logic tool. That's better. Fantastic. Now I'm happy with the timing. And now we want to make the sound of the voice a little bit better. So let's click here on the audio effects. Here we already have a compressor. So let's activate it. To see more details on the compression, let's double click it. Now we see the full compression. And now let's see how much reduction we already have. I like logic pro. So that's not enough. We have to go down with the threshold, maybe a little bit up with the ratio. If you don't understand what I'm doing, don't worry. I will make a own tutorial on the audio effects. I like logic pro. Much better. Maybe a little bit more. I like logic pro. So I could go now back to the main page where I see all the effects and go with the double click to the channel EQ or I simply could go here to the next plug in the channel EQ that is already there or I could use the plus icon to add a new effect. So let's activate the high pass filter and now we move it to something like here and we activate the high pass filter and go down to something like this. Let's listen. I like logic. Yeah, this is a little bit more in the background. I like this more. I like logic. So the intonation is not so good, right? That's because I'm not a singer. So let's work on the intonation. We go to pitch and go to pitch correction. Um, now we give away all the notes that we don't need. So let's listen to this. I like logic. Better, maybe we have to go down with the response time. I like logic. Better. Now I want to add a delay. I click on the plus, I go to delay and maybe we use the stereo delay. Um, no, that's the, I'm sorry, I don't want that. So let's go to replace and on replay we go to the stereo delay. That's what I want. And let's listen to it. I like yeah, not not perfect. So let's go down with the high frequencies, go up with the low frequencies to filter the sound of the delay a little bit. Something like this. Let's listen. Yeah, could be a little bit more feedback. Also here a little bit more feedback, but maybe we have to go down with the left and right mix to something like 10 or 11. Yeah, 10 could be cool, let's listen. I like Much better. Maybe we go to 15 and maybe we add a little reverb. So where do we find the reverb? Here it is. And I like the chroma verb, that sounds great. Um, let's see what it's doing. Sorry, let's go up to 
two seconds and go down with the mix. That sounds good for me. So we created our first little track. Uh, the only thing I would love to do, we have now just four bars. Let's make it eight bars. That's very simple. Let's make the loop longer, like eight bars. Let's go to the loop icon here, click here and make it longer. But instead of making it exactly eight bars, we make it seven and a half bars. So we have a, like something like a little break at the end. We do the same here with the second track and with the third track. All right. And now we created an eight bar loop that sounds like this. I would say that's a major hit, right? <laughs> so, um, in the next tutorial, I will show you how to use the audio effects. We will talk about the compression. I will give you an understanding how to use the equalizer and much more. So, thank you for watching. Always stay creative. Cheers. Oh, I still have one more thing. If you like producing music like me, then you probably know the problem of finding good drum and percussion sounds. Those who came with the music program do not sound right. And on all internet sites where you would get the really good stuff, you pay a fortune. On all? No, not really. There's a web page in whose development I'm involved. Mugent.com Mugent is written with M-U-G-E-N-T and it comes from Musically Intelligent. Mugent. You can find drum beats that sounds exactly like what you hear in the charts or in the big clubs in Ibiza, Miami or Berlin. The web page reminds a little bit of Google. You can just use the text search, get immediately results you can listen to and download for free, or you can use the menus with which you can narrow down the search. On Mugent you can find drum sounds to every genre, music loops, so complete beats, percussion single sounds and loops, cool bass riffs, funky brass and synth riffs, guitars, and all sorts of sound effects from birds to cars, from the sound of the sea to helicopters. With me, there is no more production where I didn't use the sounds from Mutant.com. Take a look, you will love it. My name is Thomas Foster. Thanks for following. Always stay creative. Cheers.